Hi guys and welcome to this video which is going to have a look at what happens when you put the alkali metals into water. Okay, for this part of the video then what we're going to be focusing on is what you see when you put the alkali metals into water. So there are three ones that you need to be able to describe which are lithium, sodium and potassium. So you're going to be able to describe what you see in each case and what happens to reactivity as you go down the group. So if we start off with lithium, as you can see here, it is coated in a little substance which is oil and that stops it reacting in the air. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the oil from it and I'm going to pop it into the water. You should be able to see that it is floating on the water, there is fizzing and it's moving around. So that fizzing shows that there's a gas being given off, it's moving around and it's on the water which shows that it's less dense than water. Okay, so if I move on to sodium then, sodium is the second one down, there will be some similarities and some differences. So if I take a piece of sodium out, remove the oil again, and place it into water, you'll see you can hear a lot more gas being given off. What you'll also notice, if I'm quick enough, is if I set it on fire, it gives off a yellow flame, which is what sodium does when it is set on fire. So you can see it's giving off a lot more gas, it's moving around faster than lithium, so you can say this one is more reactive. It's still less dense than water because it is still floating. Okay, if we move on to the final one then, which is potassium. So I take a piece of potassium out, remove the oil and pop it into the water. Now the key difference you'll see here is that I don't need to set this one on fire myself. It sets on fire with a lilac flame. You can see there's a lot more gas being given out and then in the end it's all dissolved, it's all gone and a lot quicker. The final thing to point out then is that these alkali metals take the water and they turn that pure pH 7 water alkaline. So you can see now it's gone purple, which is around pH 11. Okay, let's have a look at a couple of questions then. So we've got three here. The first one being, which of the three is the most reactive alkali metal? So you've got sodium, lithium and potassium. Now remember in the exam you would have a periodic table. I've put it here for you. Question two. When you put alkali metals in water, similar reactions occur. Use your knowledge of these reactions to describe how you know the order of reactivity. So what you need to talk about here is what happens when you put each of those metals in water, the ones that we've done, lithium, sodium and potassium, and how you know the reactivity increases as you go down the group. And then number three, look at the group one on the right. Predict what you would see if you put rubidium into water. So that's the fourth one here. Just so think of the pattern. What would it look like if you put that one in there? Okay, so pause this video now, have a go at it, and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's go through. So the first question then should be fairly straightforward. As you go down the group, reactivity increases. Therefore, you look down the group and you see that potassium is your most reactive one. One mark there. As we get into the more complicated one, so it says when you put the alkali metals in water, use your knowledge of these reactions to describe how you know the order of reactivity. So the first thing you need to do is say what you see when you put them in water. All of them float on water for one mark. All of them move around on the water for one mark. All three give off a gas for one mark. And then the fourth mark is some sort of comparison between all of them. So you need to turn around and say how this one is different, which makes it more reactive. So you could have in there, potassium gives off more gas than sodium and lithium. Potassium moves on the water the most. Potassium sets on fire with the lilac flame, which the other two don't, so it is more reactive. So you need to have one of those types of statements with the qualifier saying, so it is more reactive. And then question three then, look at the group on the right, predict what you would see if you put rubidium into water, comparing it to lithium. So your first mark is for saying rubidium is further down the group, so it should be more reactive. The second thing is for saying it will give off more gas because it's more reactive. It will move around faster and it might set on fire or give off more flames than lithium. 
Okay, hopefully that video has helped then. If you're feeling confident, have a go at the review question, which is a six marker, which says describe what happens when you add lithium, sodium and potassium to water. How can you use this to work out how the reactivity of the group changes as you go down the group? And that ends this video. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click on like down below. You can have a look at my latest video up there. You can also have a look at my website if you haven't seen it before. And you can click on subscribe down below. Bye now.